Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from VorexLive.com. Today's date is November 27, 2023. This is a Kickstarter video. We'll take a look at the three major currency pairs, the euro versus US dollar, the dollar versus yen, and the sterling versus US dollar. So let's get started. Uh, focusing uh, here on the four hour chart, uh, if we uh, take a look at the uh, price action in, in uh, last week's chart trading, we initially moved higher. We extended above the 61.8% retracement. That's over the uh, July high. It goes back there to the low that we saw in October. The 61 point comes in at 1.09589. You can see the price uh, earlier in the week, last week, the price uh, moved above that 61.8% uh, retracement, but then it could not sustain momentum and started to rotate back to, back to the downside. Uh, in the uh, move to the downside, we came to and through the 50% retracement. That's uh, at 1.08613, uh, and we couldn't get below that, or couldn't stay below that level. So uh, we had a failure above the 61.8, 61.8 failure below the 50% retracement, and most of the price action traded in between those two uh, retracement levels. In trading uh, uh, to start off the uh, Monday, what have we seen? We've seen the price uh, extend to the upside and, and uh, back to retest the 61.8% retracement. Again, that level comes in at 1.09589, and the high price was just below that level. Also, uh, we have this uh, swing area here between the 1.09427 and 1.09589 uh, to uh, contend with if the uh, price needs to, uh, or if the price needs to move below that area, uh, outlining all the different uh, swing lows and swing highs through here where the market uh, found either uh, support or resistance against this area. Uh, did not uh, reach uh, turn to it until last week and then uh, use that level of resistance here so we are finding resistance here if we go below this level at the uh, 427 level and stay below the level that should open the door for further uh, downside momentum on the failure to get above the 61.8 percent retracement so keep the 61.8 in mind at 1.09589 move above that level uh, it's more uh, bullish uh, for this pair we'd expect further momentum to the upside for the euro versus us dollar let's take a look at the dollar versus yen i'm going to focus here on the hourly chart of this uh, currency pair and if we uh, look at the, the uh, price action uh, that we saw in trading last week uh, the last uh, three or so trading days we saw ups and downs ups and downs with the uh, price uh, finding support against a 100 hour moving average on the Thursday's uh, trade after breaking above it on Wednesday's trade on the top side we found resistance on Friday against the falling 200 hour moving average a number of different times that the price came up to that level and just kind of waffled and waffled and waffled again it was a holiday weekend and we're heading into the uh, 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 it was a early close for uh, things like stocks and uh, bonds in the US so uh, the uh, price uh, did, did uh, uh, quiet down quite a bit in trading here today again this is the hourly chart the price in the Asian session did move above that falling 200 hour moving average but could not sustain momentum and since then we've uh, seen uh, some uh, 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 violations of the uh, uh, rising 100 hour moving average here uh, and uh, so, and including uh, more recently where the price in the early New York session fell below that level and extended to the downside here falling to uh, a new session low for the day and extending down toward uh, the uh, next uh, target air uh, level uh, which comes in uh, right here at 148.59 that level uh, corresponds with the high price uh, going back to I guess that's uh, Tuesday the low price that we set on Wednesday so uh, one two uh, move to the upside move back down toward that level we're going to need to get below that level to increase the bearish bias here but the uh, buy, the uh, sellers remain more in control below the 100 hour moving average also below the 30 38.2 percent retracement so this is a close uh, topside resistance for traders here if it stays below both the 100 hour moving average and the 30 and the 38.2 uh, percent retracement of the move down from this high to this low right here guess what the sellers are more in control and we could expect to see more pressure to the downside with uh, getting below the 148.59 the next key target to uh, get to and through so uh, buyers had their shot uh, today above the 200 hour moving average also by the way at that level was getting above the 50 percent retracement they that shot missed and uh so sellers uh, took more control in the dollar versus yen finally uh, let's take a look at the uh sterling versus us dollar i'm going to focus here on the daily chart why because uh, we are uh extending away from the 50 percent retracement of the 
uh, the uh, move down from the 2023 high to the 2023 low. Uh, Actually, it's not the 2023 low, but this is the October low here. So we had a big uh, trend move to the downside, and we uh, are in trading here today. We're moving. We based against the 50% retracement of that move to the downside and started to rotate back to the upside. We did uh, get above the high of uh, this uh, swing area through here where we had a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time uh, all through here and here and here and here. Uh, got a little messy here before. Um, rotating to the downside. It wasn't until uh, last week's uh, trading Friday to be exact when the price uh, extended into this uh, swing area and trading here today we tried to are, are trying to move above this uh, high of the swing area at 126.23 currently trading at 126.23 so right at that level we got to get and stay above this level to open the door for further upside but uh, uh, for uh, traders who are bullish on the strong versus US dollar what do you want to see? You want to see the 50% retracement hold and that's what's happened in trading here today at session lows the low price uh, did hold 50% retracement again of this move down from the high price that we saw in July to the low price that we saw in October. So uh, if one, uh, watch 125.88, uh, that is going to be a key support for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Stay above it, it's more bullish. So there you have it, a technical look at the three of the major currency pairs to kickstart your trading day for this Monday, November 27th. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.